Hi, welcome to my quick run through of uh, Seven Wonders Dual Solo Variant by James Humphreys on uh, Board Game Geek. Um, you'll see he's, uh, the rules are here, just one small page is everything you need to know. Uh, the Solo Variant uh, plays very nice and quickly and very easily. Um, so you play against an AI called Scott, who is a bit of a jerk because he, uh, although he's stupid, he does cheat a lot. Uh, the player can't win using military or science, although the Scott, the AI, can. Um, otherwise the game is generally exactly the same as a normal two-player game. Uh, I've got uh, Age 1 set up here already. Yeah, these are my wonders I'm going to try and build. These are Scott's wonders he's going to try and build. Um, I've also given him a uh, guild card which is an increased difficulty variation. So he'll reveal this at the end to see what score he gets there. He also starts with the architecture uh, science bonus which means he pays two less to build any of his wonders. I've got my six, seven starting gold there and his seven starting gold there. Uh, military setup as usual there, so let's get going. So I start, and I think I'll start off by taking uh, the bricks for free, the clay, uh, bricks or clay, whichever one that is. Okay, so when uh, Scott the AI plays, he will always take the bottommost, leftmost card if he can't build a wonder. Now obviously he's got nothing at all, so he can't build any wonders at the moment. So he's immediately going to take the science token. Now he will get science bonuses if he gets two of a kind, so I have to watch out for that. So this one's revealed. Now what do I want to take now? Um, so I've got some brick here, so I'm wondering if it's worth getting that military, because I don't have to pay necessarily to get stone just yet. Um, I think that's worth doing, I'll do that. I'll get a, a military there and I'll start pushing Scott towards the military that way. Okay, Scott will take the lowest left, uh, lowest most left most, so he's going to take that's lowest down and therefore on the left, so he's got two science. Uh, I don't want to get them up to six obviously but there's, they're not matching yet so that's okay just for now. So what have we got now? So there is some papyrus that's come up and I need that, some scrolls for this wonder and this wonder. Uh, generally what I need, uh, I need lots of glass and lots of um, wood so I need to watch out for those. Um, there is glass coming up but there's no wood out that I can see as yet. So it's going to be difficult for me to build wonders at the moment. So it is my turn. Um, do I push in more on military? Do I get a free one of those? I think I'm actually just going to spend one to get one of these. So I spend my one coin. And that comes into my production. Let's swap those around there. We go. So Scott again goes to the lowest and then to the left. That one there. He's taking military. So shunts back that way. That reveals this card, which is a science. Now I think. He's getting too many sites. He will take this one next time if I don't take it, which is okay, I think, because that reveals those two. Is it worth me taking this? See, there's more, there's more stone up here, so I don't think that's worth doing. I'm tempted to get start going on this one. I think I'm going to do that. So, so I'm going to pay my four to get that one. So there's my hand there for the start. So I've got four coins. There's not much point in me paying lots to get any of these yet, I don't think. But I do have one scroll but it's going to cost me two four six for that which I can't afford anyway and six so not worth it at the moment okay Scott lowest left most is this one it takes that he's got his three points there so this reveals these two we aha we have some wood at last so my turn I'm definitely taking the wood I'll pay to get that wood okay there's a nice supply down there right Scott takes the lowest left which is this one. Okay, there's no immediate income for that, but he obviously doesn't get that discount, but if he ever um, gets bonuses based on yellow cards, then he'll, he'll get that. So, I now have two, I know, so I've got a, a wood and a scroll which over here. If I paid four, I could get that, but I don't have four. I only have three left. I think I might, might just get a stone. Let's see, what Scott, Scott needs some stone here. Yeah, he needs, he needs stone and, and brick as well. He's going to get this anyway, I think, on his next turn. And I'm not too fussed about spending all my money on that, so I'm going to go and pay one for that. So I'll get my two change. This goes into my display down here. So Scott is going to take the lowest left, which is this one. That goes into his supply there. So he's got no production yet, which means he won't produce anything. He can't build any wonders. Uh, now I've got stone and wood and bricks 
Now here I need stone and bricks, but I still need to pay. I've made to pay four for that. Uh, no stone there. Stone and bricks. No stone there. So still I haven't enough money. Is it worth me? I don't really need the stone because I don't need that much stone. I've already got bricks that I need. I'm not too fussed. I don't really want him to get the bricks or the stone though. He'll take that one. I think I'm going to trash this for money. So I trash that one. Goes to the discard. That gets me two coins. So he, Scott gets another blue. Getting some good points there. Reveals this. I'll take that, I think. Four coins. Very nice. There we go. So I've got a lot of money now. Doing well. Okay, Scott's going to get his first resource, bricks. So he can't yet build anything because he needs at least two things to build some of these because of his uh, two discount from his architecture. So he can't do any building yet and he's revealed these for me. Let's see what he gets. So we have science and a yellow discount. Um, I think it might be time to build a wonder. Let's have a look. So I have the scroll, the stone, and the bricks. So I just need to pay for the um, the pottery there, so that's only going to cost me two because he has none. I'll do that. I'll pay two. And to reduce his military need, or uh, sorry, his science need, I'll take away this one and use that to build this one here. If I can tuck it under. Let's do that. There we are. That gets me twelve coins, which is very handy. Twelve coins. And I immediately get to have another turn. So, do I want to take that? Or I could, in theory, I've got two of these. I just need to pay four to get that. I think I'll do that because I've got a lot of money going here. Get my four, pay that. I'll trash this one. And I've built the hanging gardens. That gives me six coins straight away. Uh, worth three victory points. And I get another go again. I don't think I'm going to be able to, well I could afford to actually build those as well, but I think instead I will pay one to get this, because I need the glass anyway. So I'll put it under the uh, scroll there, there we are. Which means Scott's going to have this, pushes that way towards me. And there is the end of age one. So I'm doing quite well so far. So age two, I have the cards ready to deal out. There's my reminder of how they go. So let's lay these out, shall we? Oh, lots of food on the top there. Can't quite pick that up. There we go. Okay. So whoever's a weak military starts the round I believe. Let me just check that. Yep, it doesn't say otherwise. So Scott will have his go first. Bottom most, left most, he's taken the glass. I've got the space for him so let's just rearrange these a bit. So on his next turn he might be able to build a wonder, we'll have to check on that. Okay, so it's my turn, so I'm going to look at what is out here for science. I don't want him getting that that science there, because he'll get that. He'll get a bonus token for that. Is it worth me snapping that up now to, uh, to have? I have all the resources for that, or shall I use it to build a wonder? I would have to pay a little bit for I think I'm just going to take that, because I have the stone, the wood and the pottery. Glassworks, so I have those, so I'm just going to take that one, I think, for now. So Scott takes this, he now has three different symbols. If he gets to six, then he'll win, which we don't want. Oh, look, another one's come out. I think, um, oh, look, I have that symbol, I can build that one for free, I will build that one for free. Two pot things. Now, which one of these do I want? So we've got economy, which isn't worth nothing to me because Scott never pays for anything, but if he gets that, I have to pay him, and money to him is worth things at the end. 
Masonry's discount on blue cards. Mathematics, three points per science token. Herbalism, six coins and four coins any time I upgrade. Or theology. Now that's not going to be much use to me because that's an extra turn when I build a wonder. And I've built mo half my wonders and one of them already has a rebuild, so I'm not going to bother with that one, I think. I think I'm going to go for this one because this gives me money. Straight away. And money for upgrading. Okay. So back to Scott's turn. Lowest and to the left is that one. He ends up getting a lot of these. I have to watch him on those. Um, now, do I want to get any of these discounts? Because he now has a pottery, and I need pottery for or glass. Sorry for um, building the uh, the, the Sphinx. Two of those for the Sphinx. So I think I will actually get that one. So I've got both of these. I can afford that. That comes here. The lowest left Scott gets that one. It's really racking up those blue points. That reveals these two for me. So I don't really want him getting that necessarily, but is there anything better? Now he needs stone. He hasn't yet got enough, I don't think. Don't know, he hasn't got enough to build any of his things because all he has is glass and bricks. He needs glass for that, but no bricks. Bricks for that, but no glass. Bricks and glass for that, but he needs three out of the five there. He's only got two. Now, I don't want him getting stone, because then he'll have stone. Oh, but he still hasn't got enough there. But he'll have the stone. No, he won't have that one. He will have enough if he gets that one. So I don't want him getting this ever. I'm going to take that for two. Now, I know he's not going to take it just yet. I'm going to try and uh, stop him anyway. So he's going to get this one which is another glass, which luckily doesn't count towards me having to pay extra to use them. So that's revealed this. Now I think it might be time for me to spend some money. Yes, I think I will. So I don't want him getting this. I'm going to trash this. And I'm going to build this one here. This is the, the Sphinx. Here we go. So I'm going to have to... So I've got one pottery. I've got the bricks and the stone, and he's paid for more glass. Now he's got glass, which means it's going to cost me two for mine and another for his. So that's three. Here we go. That's gave me six points, but another turn. So I can another turn straight away. Now I have three of the five needed there. He has no wood, so I could build this as well. I think that might do that. That's going to cost me two, four. That's completely worth it. So, um, sorry, two, two change. What am I going to build? What am I going to scrap? I think I will scrap that because that's dangerous for me there. Here we go. That's my turn done. Good turn for me. I've built all four of my wonders. Scott still hasn't been able to build any. Haha, <laughs> for Scott. But he's a cheater. So there we go. Right. Lowest and left, he gets this one, he gets him six coins immediately. Uh, he has to take from the bank, not from my pile. There we are. Now, I think I could starve him of resources again if I stop him getting the wood he needs. And I think that's worth me doing. It's only going to cost me two. Here we go. So I'm rolling resources which I no longer need. He takes the lowest left, he takes that military, so he's going up that way. Um, I don't want him to get this one, but he, that's safe at the moment, because he will take that one next. So I think I'm going to try and push him on the military bit, so if I pay my three to get that, which pushes back one way that way. Scott's turn, he takes the yellow. No income for him, because it's a discount. I will take this for free to stop him getting it. So I now have two and a bottle. He only has a bottle, let's put a resource up there. A bottle and a, a uh, clay so far. So he's not doing very well. He's not going to be able to build any of these at the moment. And in fact, there are no more resources left and there aren't any age three, so I don't think he's going to build any at all. Bad luck for him. That's the worst he's done I've seen so far. So which of these do I want? I think. For military, I might. Oh yeah, I'm going to take this and push him. I've got all of those. 
going to push him two up. Here we go. He will take this blue. He's already getting the blue points. And I've got the two wood, yes, and the uh, glass there to pay for that one. So there we are. End of age two. Let's deal out for age three. There's age three's layout, so this is fascinating for you to watch, I'm sure. He's up a bit. There we have four. Then we have two in the middle, like that. Then we have oh, this up four again. Do with one hand. Okay, three, and then the final two. There we go. And just move these up because these are Scott's ones. Here we go. Okay, Scott is weakest. He gets to start. He takes the lower left. He's got the guild. Now that's a bit annoying. That's worth quite a lot for him. Uh, yeah, especially because money, he usually gets quite a bit of money. But has revealed that one for me, so that's a, another point one there. Now I've got the, the sun symbol, so I think I'll take the blue. Okay, it reveals these two. He gets the lowest left, he gets more blue. He's really racking up the blue there. Now he's not, he's only got four symbols. If he gets those two, he'll get a military victory, but he's not going to take either of those cards yet. Uh, that will push him one, two, three up there, if you've got that one. That one, see I can afford that one. Is it worth me giving seven points, or is it worth me pushing that way to lose two? So that's a difference of four points. Uh, I'm going to risk it, I'm going to take the... The blue because I've got the three stone and the three and sorry and the two um, timber. He therefore takes the military, which pushes this one, two, three that way. Now I don't think I want him to get this one, but he will get that one next, which pushes me into losing money. That's dangerous. So I think I will take that one. Let's just check. So I need three clay and two brick. I have the brick. I have one clay. I need to pay for two clay. He has one clay. So I will need to pay th uh, three, six coins. I could of course trash it if I wanted to for money, but I'm not going to. One, two, three. I'm going to push back that way. He will take science. Which now means he has four different ones. That reveals that one. There's another science one. Um, now the military, I think I'm going to leave that one because I want to get this this one here because I'm going to get eight points for that. That's worth eight points. So let me take that one. Let me see if I can afford that. I've got the two stone, I've got the clay, I've got the wood and I've got the glass so I can afford that. All right. Scott gets two on the military. Okay, he reveals this one. Um, now, do I want him to allow him to get the fourth, the fifth science symbol? Or do I allow him to get, see that? He's not going to get any money for that because he hasn't completed any, but it's still worth three. That's dangerous to me though, so I think I'll go for that one. So I've got the two scrolls and the stone, so I can build that for free. Scott gets the yellow and gets no money for it. Ha ha to Scott. That's for being a jerk, Scott. So is it worth me now getting this one to get another one of these jobbies? Shall I push back on the military? Get some money for the yellow, because that gets me oh, that'll only get me one yellow, one point card, one coin. But we'll get him uh, six coins though if he gets that one. But of course he'll get that first. Um, I think I'm going to just keep this out of his out of his region. So I've got the clay, the glass, and the scroll. So let's pop that there for free. Two symbols. I get an extra bonus. 
Now blues I'm not too fussed at the moment with blues. That gives me three points per bonus token. That would be worth six to me. That's not worth anything, that's not worth anything. I'll go for the six coins, I think. Six points. Here we go. Over to Scott. He takes seven pointer. Oh, his blues are off the table now. Let me just move those up. There we go. Feels that one. Okay. I think I prefer. Hmm. Now that's worth four coins and three points to me. I can afford it. That's two military. I can afford that one. And that's worth effectively four points difference there as well. And that would get me one coin and three points, which isn't great, but it is an upgrade. I don't think I've been, I might have triggered an upgrade somewhere here that I didn't, didn't get my money for, but no, not to worry. I'll do that, I think. I'll take this one. That gets me, oh, no, that means I've got two now, so that gives me two coins. Three points. And because I upgraded, I get four coins there. Now I think, actually, one of these I upgraded, didn't I? That one, yeah. And uh, so I upgraded it and got that token from the upgrade, so that actually doesn't trigger anything, so that's fine, I didn't forget. So Scott gets the military. Two military, so I have to discard two coins now, which is not too bad, but he's now he's got uh, five VP here, so I don't really want him to stay like that. I wonder if any more military are left. Oh dear, no more military, so that's guaranteed five points for him. So red cards, he will get sorry, yellow cards, he'll get one per red, so he's got one, two, three, four, five, six, he'll get six coins, I'll get four, not too bad, no, I'm not too worried, uh, but he has got that other one, so I don't want him to get that either, or the six-pointer, which I haven't got a symbol for, so I can't upgrade, I'll go for this, I'll go for this one, I've got the uh, wood and the glass and the scroll, so I can build that, Two, three, four, so I have... Obviously I can't go for a science victory, because this solar variant you can't get science victory. Scott gets this one, which gets him six coins because of that. There we go. Um, I will take, I think, this one. That's worth more points. I have to pay an extra, an extra um, clay. So I've got one, so I need to pay three for that. And Scott will take right leftmost, he takes that. And then that means I get left with a guild card if I can afford it, which I can. So, we've got to the end of the age. It's time to score up. Let's see who's going to win. So, that's me, Nick, and then in inverted covers. Scott. So let's do blue. You can all check my adding up now. So we've got 10, 17, 23, 28. And Scott has got uh, 3, 6, 11, 15, 19, 24, 31, 36. For greens, I've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 19, 11. Scott's got three, four, five. For yellows, I have three. For yellows, Scott has six. For guild cards, I have two for whoever's completed the most wonders, which is me, so I get eight points for that. And I get one point for whoever has the most, one point per yellow card for whoever has the most yellow. Scott has got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven yellow, which means that's seven points for me for that as well. So Scott has got this one, which is three points, one point, sorry, for every three coins for whoever's got the most money. Scott's got 19, I have six, so Scott has got more than me. So 18 divided by three is six. So he gets a six for that, and then we reveal his second guild card. One, so he immediately gets one coin now for every green. One, two, three, four, actually he should have done that before I scored up this one. 
So actually, he's going to get another three points for that, so let's change that to seven. He's also going to get one point. Whoever's got more of the uh, science, which is me. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he gets another six points for that. Here we go. So, wonders. I have got uh, four and six is ten. Thirteen. Scott didn't score any wonders. Zero for you, Scott. A bonus tokens. I get three for my mathematics. Oh, sorry, three and three. So it's six, sorry. Six for my two coins there. He doesn't get any for his. Zero for you again. Coins. I have six, which gives me two points. He has 18, 20, 21, which gives him seven. Military. He gets five. I think it's quite clear that I've won this. Let's have a look, shall we, if I can add it up quickly. 28, 39, 42, 57, 67, 70, 76, 78. Not bad at all. 36, 41, 47, 54, 60, 67, um, 72. So, I have one, but that was actually a lot closer than I thought. 78, 72. Well, Scott, that's what you get for being a jerk. You lose. Ha ha. And there's my run-through of the solar variant for Seven Wonders Jewel.